We are now going to rebuild the drag link. This right here is the physical drag link. This is the pivot arm, and that's the rebuild kit. We are now going to open up the drag link rebuild kit. There's quite a few components in here. There are the dust shields that will go on to the ball joints. The two springs, the nuts that will put pressure on to the ball joints, which they're two of them are a bit different, and I'll show you which one goes where. The supports that hold the springs in place and the spacers, new zerks for the drag link, and cotter pins to hold it all together. And now with the two new zerks and thread the new ones in. Just tighten them down so they're fairly snug and the zerks are now installed. It's important to have the right orientation of this drag link so it goes in properly. So you see how it has a bend here? You want to have this bend facing this way. This side will attach to the bell crank and this side will attach to the pitman arm, which is this right here. It'll go into this hole right here and then it'll attach to the steering box. The first step in the drag link repair is to rebuild the pitman arm section, which will attach to the steering box on this end. Pieces we will need to assemble this is a spacer right here, which will go into the bottom first and it will ride with this little hole indent on here on the ball. Then we'll use another spacer here which will clamp on like that. And then with the spring and the spring holder here, we'll put them into one another and have the spring pushing against this end and the spacer facing up and the nut threaded in and pushing on the top like that. That's what it will look like in the inside. First, we're going to put a little bit of grease on everything just so it has a little bit of grease before we grease it up with dessert. Put the first spacer in with the little groove facing outward. And before we install a, a pitman arm here, we're going to put on the dust cover. You will push it on. And then you will insert a rubber next. And this will keep the grease in. And now we will grease up the pitman arm here. Put the pitman arm into the hole here. Put the other spacer in. First we'll grease it up. Put it so the indent is facing towards the ball joint. Then with the spring pushing against the spacer and the uh, spring insert, push that in next. And then we'll put the nut on. Using a chisel here to tighten this large nut as it's fairly big and it seems to work very well. It's hard to hold the chisel. I use a pair of vice grips and now tighten the nut up until it's all the way down and secure and you can't tighten it anymore. So with this nut all the way tightened now, I will unloosen it half a turn as per the manual. So it is in the right setting with the spring. And then once this knot is correctly set, you put the cotter pin through. I need to give it a quick tap with a hammer. And then bend up the ends here. And the installation of the pitman arm is complete. All you have to do is fill it up with grease and it is good to go. We are now going to finish the last part of the drag link rebuild. We are going to install this side to the bell crank. And there's a few components here and it's a little bit different than the pitman arm. First, you're gonna have your spring and the spring holder. You will put it facing this direction like this. And they're going to have the other spacer on top with the indent facing outward so the ball rides in this groove and then lastly there'll be the nut and this nut has a groove already indented on the physical nut and it will just clamp on like this with the ball in the center 
First thing I'll do is put a little bit of grease in all the components here again on everything and make sure there's no debris on the components. Give it a quick wipe first. First thing I will install is the spring. So the spring goes onto the plug like that and the plug facing inward. Push it in. And now you put on the other spacer with the end date facing out towards the ball joint. I took you guys over to the bell crank now. You're going to install the dust shield onto the ball. Just pushes on like that and the rubber goes on the same way as the pitment arm and the rubber goes the lengthways. Here is a closer view of the bell crank and we are first going to grease up the ball. And then with the drag link, we're going to insert it in the back side. And then with this nut, thread it on. And with it tightened all the way down, you want to back it off half a turn. So just turn it 180 degrees. So spinning it back 180 degrees. And then find the closest hole to put the cotter pin in. With this nut turned back 180 degrees, you put the cotter pin into the hole. With the dust cover all lined up, all you do is just push it on. 